Yeah. Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It has. Yep. So we're currently um, having a bit of time in us motor home, um, just to run it because it hasn't been used since uh, New Year. Yeah, we just um, done a little CLR with it. Yeah, we've just been locally. Yeah. Um, so we've come out of the motor home this morning, and we've travelled over to uh, Bradford. Um, and right behind us there, as you can see, is the Bradford Industrial Museum. Um, <laughs> and we were just saying on the way over, it's been years since we've been here. Oh, um, 20 plus. Uh, my daughters, Kaylee and Leah, were little girls when I came here. So that's, yeah, 20 odd years, same here. Mm. Um, so we're going to go back and have a look. And um, see if it's as exciting as we remember it being. Yeah, I mean, it's all about... Uh, uh, as you might know, Bradford was a big industrial centre uh, back in the last century. Mainly and, textiles. And old, mainly one. textiles, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of uh, history in this uh, building behind us. So um, come along and let's have a look. Eh? So one of the first things you find is these um, original back-to-back um, -back terrace houses, which were all over Bradford. I remember these. Very, were, Growing um, up in yeah, Bradford. Very well, Leeds as well. There were a lot of back to backs in. Yeah, but Leeds. in Leeds there were mainly red brick. Yes. In yeah. Bradford there were this um, uh, Yorkshire stone. Yeah. And uh, this is what they've made of these. Um, they've basically mocked them up in different um, time. In, in different times, yeah. So they've. They've named this row of back-to-backs uh, -back Gaythorn Row, and there's one, two, is it three? Three at the front and three at the back. So this one tells you about back-to-back -back living. It tells you a bit about the people lived in back-to-back -back houses. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and this one is. Yeah. This one shows a parlour in 1875. So this is kind right. of. So you're probably going to get my reflection on here, but I'll try and get it a bit closer. Get to a bit the... closer. So you've got what looks like a carpet on the table, and then a, you've got a rag. I remember rug. them. It's uh, I can't remember what you call the, uh, yeah, the fabric, no, but the bread there is uh, what we used to call a flat cake. It and is. I remember my grandma making them. Yeah. Um, There's the rag rug down on the flagged yeah, floor there. Yeah. Um, Singer sewing machine yeah, on the little the table window. there. Um, and then that big uh, wooden unit um, at the back there for storing your pots and pans and things. Yeah. And then your, what's that, an arga fire? Well, an arga's a big. That's not an arga, is it? An arga's a, a cooker, but this is. You've got the mm. oven to the right of the fire and you've got a stand bit there for your pot yeah. for cooking on and then your fire and then down in the in the fireplace there you've got the yeah. old old fashioned um Coal water well, Oh no, yeah the water the bottles. water bottles yeah, yeah. The pot, the pot yeah so they'd put them yeah. there to heat up and then you've they? got in the corner in. there you've got uh, your dad's uh, chair with his flat cap and walking stick. <laughs> yeah. And a massive chest of drawers. Yeah, and the gas lamps. Yeah, and the gas lamps up there. Yeah, so these uh, Gaythorn Road consists of three back-to-back -back houses, six homes in all. And these houses were originally built in 1876 in Gaythorn Street, Great Orton, the suburb of Bradford. Um, I suppose they made them back to back so you could get more people in them. I mean, a family would live in one of them, wouldn't they? Yeah. A whole family would yeah, live yeah. in one of them. Yeah. So, yeah, this one is, like I said, this one's 1875. Yeah, so let's go have a look at the other ones. That's, <laughs> that's a parlour. That's the parlour. We've just looked at. So, we'll come on to the next one. Yep, this one's. 1942. So this is one um, from the war, uh, Second World War this era. Um, the gas mask. 
on the chair and yeah. one hanging up on the door. Yeah. The tin bath in front of the fire. Yeah. The air aid warden's jacket on the back of the yeah, so chair who, there. Who lived in here uh, was a air raid warden mm. and the wireless in the corner there next oh, to the yeah. big uh, Absolutely. storage cupboard. Um, and up on the ceiling there is... Uh, a, a creel. Yeah. Uh, I remember mum and dad having one of them. For drying your clothes. Drying. Near, the, yeah. near the fire. Yeah. So nothing much has changed. No. Um, what has changed is got, you've got the wireless. Um, and obviously you still got the uh, the old fire there and the cooker mm. at the side. But you have got the electric light now. Yeah, you've got your electric lights. Yeah. And on the uh, sewing machine in the window there, you've got uh, your father's pipe with his yep. trilby hat, um, typical of that period in the And your senior service ashtray there. Oh, yeah. Coming into this one, we're into 1975. I can honestly say that my house looked nothing like this where I lived in 1975. Yeah. We had the big telly, but it wasn't orange. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think in the seventies you did tend to get gaudy colours. I mean, look at that wallpaper. You could have hallucinations. Of you could. You could just yeah. being in that room. Now, that that kitchen's quite interesting. I do remember. Uh, I'm just trying to get. There's a lot of reflection on this one because I'm yeah. holding it at an angle. It's like a wine green colour. Um, and I remember my mum and dad having one similar to that. Yeah, my nan had cupboards a bit like that. Yeah. We did actually have cupboards more like these big ones yeah. in the house. And then island. in the where the fireplace is, you've got like an electric coal fire, I think. Yeah, they've Mock still one. got the old fashioned fire yeah, at the back, but yeah. they've kind of bricked it, it over yeah. and put an electric yeah. fire now, haven't they? Oh, look at um, that cheese and pineapple and stuff on oh, sticks. Yeah. That yeah. were very popular. Very 70s, weren't it? Very 70s. It? Oh, my mum used to make this. Do, do you remember that? Oh, like yeah, a and sponge. mandarin oranges. Yeah, well, yeah. I think they might be pear, yeah. uh, peach, but yeah. uh, the, these ready made flan things. Yeah. And the Capri on a handbook. And a typical wedding scene there. Um, somebody, probably in Bradford. Yeah. Let's go have a look at the back. Yeah, so um, walking through a passage now. Um, typical and down here. That'd have been you going your, into your coal. Your coal, what we sell here, your coal, coal oil. Your coal oil. Yeah. Yeah. On each One side. for each house. One for each house. And then obviously this is these are the kitchens. Kitchen for the front house, kitchen for the back house, and the pipes, waste pipes, and then into the backyards now this is amazing because this takes me back to when my auntie lived in a district oh. in Bradford called Lister Hills and, yeah. and the outside toilets the taken toilets out yeah. of them but that's this where is your this is where your toilet used to be privies there's a lot of a picture on there of your privy but it's basically it's a, bucket, I know. Yeah, a piece of wood with a bucket underneath oh, God. Um, Imagine having to empty that on a daily basis. Where would they empty them? I don't know. Oh, collected oh. by the council. Well, me mate, you can't get them to pick leaves up these days, never mind. <laughs> you know what? Hell no. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, typical scene there of uh, people chatting over the wall. Yeah, so these are the back houses of Gaythorn Row. Oh, yeah, and they are actually they're differently done inside. Yeah. To the same theme, but yeah, yeah. slightly different. It's, yeah. And we've got the uh, authentic, what used to be gas lamps. Um, up there. And you can actually go inside here now, okay. so we'll have a look. See where this is. Oh, this tells you, this shows you the back of Morpeth Street in Bradford, and that's typically what they were like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's your layout. Yeah. Of what they look like. And that's the drawing room of the mill manager's house. Mm. So he wouldn't live in a back to back. Yeah. And there's the plan of how they looked. On the ground floor. Yeah. So one house there, one house there, one house there, one house there, the backyards. And that's Gaythorn Street in 1987 I think that says mm. uh, which is what these houses are, are modelled on well this looks familiar Trace look at this our old house <laughs> yeah. I mean our new house yeah. we have roofed it yeah, it no it funny. isn't it in like ours that. really yeah. but the house we're living at the moment is was built in the 1800s yeah. And that's an artist's impression. The trolley buses used to run the trams, from yeah. up here, didn't yeah. they? We'll see some of them when we're going to the main uh, yeah, museum. Let's have, Let's have a look upstairs. Have a look up. So we're upstairs in uh, the 1970s house. Yeah, so this is the this bedroom is, in the, the 1970s bedroom. house. This is 1975, so... Now there's a thing. Yes. That's a very old... Um, what do you call them? Dressing, uh, dressing table. table. But it was quite common for people to paint, to paint them and, and my spoil mom, them. <laughs> my mum has got one just like that. She has and my dad, my dad painted it white yeah. to make it look modern. Yeah. So they were spoiling real lovely furniture. And a wardrobe, that's a typical wardrobe. It is. And who didn't have a suitcase like that one on the top? I know, yeah. And your candlewick bedspread. Yeah. Oh, it's like going back in time. It is, isn't it? Look at the uh, transistor radio over there. Oh, yeah. Cassette radio. Yeah. A wed typical wedding dress. Yeah. Yeah, but that wallpaper. That'd give you nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> so, go oh, down there, you can that see. That would have been one of the, the staircases, yeah, wouldn't staircase. it? staircase. Downstairs. Yeah, from the parlour, I would imagine. There we go. Oh gosh. And this is more. another 1975 bedroom. They've done a smaller bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. Chill out room. This is yeah. cold. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you used to have a chill in much. They used to have that album. Did you? Yeah, and the Beatles one further on, Abbey Road. And Dark Side of the Moon. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, Pink yeah, Floyd, that yeah. Still play their music. Mm. Yeah, look at the old record player yeah. down there. Albums. Yeah. Girls World Annual 1970. I'm sure you'd have had that, Trace. Don't ring a bell with me. I must no. say when I looked at it. Yeah. So we'll move a bit further on and then I think we'll come into the 1940s. Yeah, 1942 bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. So you've got your unpainted dressing now table that's how this time. Looked. That's how it should look. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got a fire in your bedroom as well. Yeah, they've all got fireplaces. Yeah, yeah, wardrobe. I remember my parents having furniture like this. Yeah, mine too. Wooden floor. And look, the potty underneath the bed. It goes under. Yeah, it goes under. Yeah, it goes under there. <laughs> it goes under there. And then, um, are we going back We're further? 1875 here. 1875. And this is typical uh, um, a bedroom of that era. Mm. Yeah, I've still got the potty under the yeah. bed there. Yeah. Oh, this is a mock-up of a typical a um, nine, hairdressers from the nineteen sixty-eight. Nineteen sixty-eight. A mock-up of Kenneth Moore's um, working salon. At 142 Toller Lane, Heaton, which right. is a, another Bradford, suburb of yeah. Bradford. Very 1960s, isn't it? Oh, I remember where they had all the, uh, you remember the them, curlers. Them, them hoods things. I do. My mum actually had one at, at home. She used to do my nan and my Auntie Lily's hair every Friday. Every Friday. And one, one day it set on fire with my Auntie Lily under it. Oh, uh, but she didn't get burnt. Mm. No, no aunties were harmed <laughs> in, that, yeah. <laughs> in that story. Yeah. 
red can centre. Mm. Mm. Yeah, good coffee bar there, look. Yeah, how oh, interesting. Gosh, it's just like the hairdressers yeah. I used to go I can smell the peroxide from here. Yeah, I can see perming curlers. Yeah. It's just like the hairdressers I used to go to with my mum when my mum used to go for her hair doing yeah. every week. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a proper throwback, but it's it is, isn't it? interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we go? Yeah, let's back. go over to the mill. Let's go downstairs. So typically a lot of people who lived in these terraced houses um, in back in those times in Bradford um, were just a walk down the cobble streets to the mill where they worked, oh, yeah, the textile they, mill. It would have been mill workers' cottages, wouldn't they? Yeah, and this is uh, and this. just back into uh, another... Tell me about World War II, yeah. victory, where people were encouraged to grow their own food. Yeah. Um, no washing tub. Yeah, oh, this is showing you it, look. Yeah. Cold frames where they do it in the back gardens. Grow your own vegetables. Grow your own veggies. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. is a cabbage in corner there. <laughs> there is, yeah. And some leeks. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they come out and down the cobbled streets. Um, the scene of many places, uh, areas in Bradford, and then they just walk down, uh, down to the mill. Right, so we've just been walking down the uh, street. Uh, you might have seen the tram lines down there. Uh, seen this, which is a mill manager's house. No back-to-back house for the mill manager. Yeah, let's have a look. Hello there. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. yeah, welcome to the uh, mill you. manager's house. Oh, Thank right. you. Thank We're you. Just... We, we're YouTubers, we're just doing a vlog, is that okay? Oh yeah, 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 yeah of course. Just, uh, yeah. Excellent. Just yes. going out for Yeah, have a good look around. There's Thank upstairs you. as well. Yeah. Okay. We'll read these storyboards, oh, won't we? Yeah, we yeah. have been doing in the cottages and so we're doing yeah, the comparison here. Yeah, I've seen how they, um, they transported all the bricks and, yeah. the, and rebuilt from, it. From yeah. the yeah. Great Orton. Yeah, to... Great yeah. 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 When did they do that then? Late 80s. Late 80s, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I yeah, remember coming with my son when he was probably five or six so that would have been mm. about 2000 so mm -hmm. yeah. um yeah, they, were they were there then i remember them but yeah. you don't remember them do you but i probably drove past them thinking oh, somebody loose there <laughs> but um back in when you came then with your young son they probably still had the shire horses they did yes. yeah they did, they did yeah. have the yeah. shire horses then mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, kids always like them. oh yeah yeah, yeah. They were oh, yeah. just over there, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, where there's the and they used big... to they used to drive around Bradford sometimes. Were that the 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 Tetley ones? Bradford? The Tetley one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tetley Brewery. Yeah. Well, back yeah. in the um, in the nineteen twenties, I had an uncle that worked for the co-op yeah. dairy in Huddersfield, mm -hmm. and he drove the the old the dray, the, the dray mm. but with milk on it back in the 1920s so it, Gosh, yeah. it is quite interesting yeah. yeah i mean this would be um a, a sizable property for oh, uh, yeah. yes. but yeah. then it would uh, obviously have some standing and uh, yeah Although not good enough for the mill owners. No, no. They're, oh no, they yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then, probably yeah. in one of the really big houses that yeah. um, mm. go on the on the main road there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some of the ones on Manningham Lane and places like yeah. that. Yeah, some of them old properties. And, and where we live yeah. uh, at Birkenshaw, there's uh, uh, there used to be Oddie's Mill there, mm. um, yeah. and and the some of the houses on Station Lane. Yeah, they those were mill owners, owners houses, yeah. those big, the, they're big, really big massive, yeah. Yeah, 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 three yeah. stories high. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, we'll take a little look. It's yeah, been lovely do. chatting with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hiya. So, Go on in. Wow. Here we come into the... Um, Is this the parlour? Between 1873 and 1970, oh, it was the accommodation for the mill manager and his family. Mm. Middle class family who had a comfortable life. Yeah. And it's telling you it was a spinning mill back in the day, it was Moorside Mill. Side mill, which is the mill we're going to go yeah. into. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, the difference between this and the and the um, and the workers' homes is quite a big jump in it. Yeah, it's massive. And like the gentleman said, this is cause the mill manager, not the mill owner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The furniture is much bigger. Well, the rooms are much bigger. Yeah, they are. They're very dark and dowdy, though, aren't they? They are. Shadowy. Yeah. yeah. Into the drawing room. Oh, this is the drawing room. This would be used by the mistress of the house and her daughters. Yeah. They do. They, they would have a maid. Um, who would do the sewing and household tasks? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at the china on the table, a piano in the corner. Yeah. Oh, there's the sewing table round there and yeah. things. Yeah, you've seen the uh, the lamp, how it, uh, it's cantilevered, so you can pull it down. Oh, so you've got a bit more so light. A bit more light room. if you're doing some close yeah, yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? My, my mum and dad had these type of light switches in our house when yeah, I was yeah. a... When the I baker, baker light ones. And here's this the, looks like I'm going into the kitchen, yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. And, and even the creel up there. Yeah. Which we saw earlier on. Lot lots more cupboard space. Yeah. An actual sink in your kitchen. Yeah. In this one. In the corner, yeah. Yeah. And but still cooking on the Yeah, I bet, I bet they were nice and warm. Oh I bet they were. Yeah. <laughs> and and they had to black black that, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um Look at them iron pans. I know. I bet they look like they weigh a ton before you put yeah, everything in. Yeah. Mm. Again, more cupboard space. Yeah. Yeah. And then across the uh, We've got way. The parlor. This is the family parlour. Oh, this is the family parlour. Wow. The city room for the whole family. Where they could relax in the evening, playing games and reading. Should we look upstairs? Yeah. I assume that that would go down into your cellar. Yeah. Staff only. Yeah, staff only. Mm. Nice one, really. <laughs> they can go around right there. I thought it was going to be quite warm. Oh, it's a yeah. Now, look, they've got the sheep there. Hanging which, sheep, which yeah. is, uh, that's Leeds, is that, the yeah. hanging sheep? Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. indicative of the wool trade, oh, isn't it? The yeah. textile trade. Yeah. I don't speak Latin, so I don't know what that says. It no. says something about industry. Industry, yeah. <laughs> we got that bit. Oh, this is quite cool. This is the nursery. This is where... Oh, right. The kiddies would be looked after. We've got a sink in there. Yeah, yeah. We're washing them. Yeah. Wow. Oh. The schooling. So the, it was a chap called the Greenwood family. Mm. Yeah. Who were here at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Maid's bedroom. There's a bathroom there. What, what, this is 1910 when they, when they got a bathroom. Wow, look at that. But look, you actually close yourself in for privacy. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah that's uh, interesting. I've just stood mm. back so you see that. Yeah, and then you've got your toilet with the cistern up on the wall yeah. there, and that is a lead pipe. Yeah. yeah. Typical black and white tiles of the time. It's interesting to see they've got radiators in as well. 
So the maid's bedroom. Greenwood's teenage daughter might have been keen to follow the current fashions by decorating a room in a popular style. Mm -hmm. This tells you, like, this is Art Nouveau 1890 to 1910. William, I, I thought it was William Morris. Um, is it William Morris? Yeah. yeah, it is very William yeah. Morris, isn't it? Wash stand and things in there. Yeah. Yeah, coal fire at the back. Yeah, all the fun we've got that And the wardrobe dressing area just round there. And this one's got some central heating in which they must have still have. Yeah. The dressing room, I guess. Looks like it, doesn't it? That's what's going to open it. And then this. Leads into the uh, main bedroom. Main bedroom. bedroom yeah. Dressing table there. It is. The contrast though yeah. between the bed canopy as well. Look at the size of that bed canopy. But the contrast between this and one of the cottages. Yeah. Um, you could fit yeah, yeah. the cottage in one of these rooms. Couldn't you? Mm. Oh, quite interesting that trace, really wasn't it? Interesting, yeah. yeah. It is good to see the comparison between the workers and the yeah. Men yeah, there is, yeah. I'm sure everybody aspired to be the manager. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? I would assume that the house came with the job. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look at the size of the house there. I'm just being in the mill managers compared to the, uh, the, the terrace. terrace the terrace back, back to that. Yeah, so we're making his way now down to uh, down to the mill. Mill, mill, 